Hello everyone. Welcome to our first video in our YouTube channel Pharmacotherapy Made Easy. The first video is being made on Childbirth Criteria or Childbirth Score. What is Childbirth Score? Childbirth Score is just like liver function test. It is not a direct liver function test but it will be useful to assess the severity of liver disease. It is useful to assess the severity of liver disease. So what will be we getting if we assess the severity based on the assessment of severity we can expect the survival correlation of the patient for one year or two years so what are the parameters that we use in calculating the child birth score the parameters are presence or absence of ascites amount of albumin present in serum bilirubin encephalopathy prothrombin time INR so if the patient does not have any eyesights, it means that the score will be 1 since it is none. If patient is having mild to moderate ascites, the score given will be 2 and if the ascites is severe, score given will be 3. In the same way, presence, or presence of albumin in serum will be calculated in grams per deciliter. If the serum concentration of albumin is greater than 3.5, score will be given as 1. If it is in the range of 2.8 to 3.5, score will be given as 2. If it is less than 2.8, score will be given as 3. In the same way, bilirubin will be estimated in milligrams per deciliter. If the concentration of bilirubin in serum is less than 2, score will be 1. If it is in the range of 2 to 3, score will be 2. If it is greater than 3.0, it is score will be 3. And presence of encephalopathy that is without any encephalopathy score will be 1, mild to moderate score 2, moderate to severe score 3 and prothrombin time in seconds 1 to 3 if it is 1 to 3 score will be 1, if it is 4 to 6 score will be 2, if it is greater than 6 score will be 3 and INR since INR is a ratio it does not have any units as we know and if it is less than 1.7 score will be 1, if it is 1.7 to 2.3 score will be 2 if it is greater than 2.3 score will be 3 so how to calculate let us assume that patient x a patient x have came to the hospital he is having a sites of mild to moderate condition then score will be 2 for the first parameter 2 plus if albumin is in the range of 2.8 to 3.5 then again score will be 2 so plus 2 to the next parameter plus Bilirubin, let us think the bilirubin is less than 2, then score will be 1 plus 1 plus if encephalopathy is absent in the patient, score will be 1 again. Next, if prothrombin time is in the normal range that is 1, 2, 3, then score will be 1 plus INR, if it is less than 1.7, the score will be 1. So if we sum up all these scores, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 1. 8 the score is 8 and how to assess this score based on the score obtained we should classify the patient into three classes these classes are class a class b and class c if the score is 5 to 6 patient comes under class a if the score is in the range of 7 to 9 patient comes under class b if the score is 10 to 15 range patient comes under class c so what is this useful for based on the score obtained it will be useful to adjust the dose in the patient Do, dose of those drugs which are eliminated through hepatic route those of dose of those drugs which are eliminated through hepatic route that is liver must be decreased based on the score given if the patient is having score of 5 to 6 he will become under class a and dose there is no need for a dose adjustment if patient comes under class b dose must be reduced by 25% and if patient comes under class C, dose must be reduced by 50% and this is the survival correlation that is if a patient comes under class A, survival rate is 100% for one year and if patient comes under score B, survival rate for the patient for one year is 80% whereas those patients coming under class C, the survival rate will be 45% and thank you for listening. Please do subscribe to our channel.